Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay, welcome back to Let's Play Suralem Ultimate. Last episode, uh, we had a bit of a, uh, a bit of a rough fight against uh, Caliban, and we emerged from it chastened, humbled, and just generally, uh, generally accepting that, you know, what we did was probably not uh, an advisable thing to do. We won the fight. That's not the point. We were always gonna win. We were never gonna lose. That guy... Very few enemies in the game can actually pose a risk of actually beating us in combat. But the problem was that it was one of those fights where it was basically a, a stalemate brought on by our own actions, which is we made him immune to all kinds of damage, and then we gave him a damage cap. And on top of that, he's a boss that resurrects three times, and apparently there's no way to stop that. So, we're gonna be fighting him again, um, maybe not in this episode, but the next episode, and we will uh, be a, a bit more careful about how we How, how we modify his uh, properties using the, uh, the runes. And other than that, other than that, it was a decent episode. We found a couple cards, you know, a skin, some nether stones. You know what I'm going to do is, though, I'm going to... I'm going to... Because we've got a bunch of low-level nether stones again. I'm going to crush some of these, you know, just to... I was going to say to free up space, but I don't think there's a space limit. If there is a limit, it's a huge number of pages. So I'm just going to destroy a bunch of these, because it should also give us enough uh, piety to unlock and upgrade all the way to level 100 a new relic. We'll go all the way to the stones that are... Uh, of rarity, let's say 100. Already we're get getting more than 4,000 per stone. Ooh, that is nice. That is juicy. And we'll leave this one. Although we could safely keep going. Because I don't think s stones start having traits on them until rarity... At least 150. But, you know what? That's fine. How much uh, do we have? Oh yeah, more more than enough. So let me awaken a new relic. Almost almost done with this entire page. So now we're gonna get Mutatius, the War Scissors of Alexandria. Let's go ahead and uh... <coughs> excuse me. Let's go ahead and uh, get that. And then once every relic is unlocked, I will uh, go through the list and say, okay, like what, like what is the vibe of each relic? What kind of party would I want it in? Would I want any of them on uh, one of my creatures, or would they all just, you know, waste my time without doing anything really useful enough that I? I would only equip a relic if I thought it would save me time. I'm not going to equip a relic that technically makes me stronger, but then wastes time by, you know... Because each relic does its own actions, right? Usually the relics attack enemies, but even that does take time, because e each relic attack has its own animation. So, um, that's a... Uh, that's where my thinking is at with the relics and especially with why I have two creatures in my party that don't even have relics. I'm like, uh, I'm doing just fine with four and any more would just not really help me win battles in ways that I'm not already winning and it would, it would just take up my time. But anyway, here's another 11 achievements. Uh, excuse me? 
shouldn't we be... There we go. I was gonna say, shouldn't we be getting a Steam pop-up and an achievement for the relic itself? For unlocking the relic? And there we go. And with that done, I think it's time to jump into a random realm and see what the game has in store for us. Let's do it. Alright, what are we... Uh, we're in the Kingdom of Heretics. Let's talk to a gone Furian. And let's take a look at the realm. Fused with Purgast. That's a rare creature. Interesting. What, what macro do we have? Regular Rapid Dementia? I think that should be fine. Although... Our attacks deal 90% less damage against this particular creature. That's fine. Are you, okay, yeah. They're, uh, they're healing every turn as well, which is why this enemy gained his health back. But it didn't help them that much in the end. Alright, let's... Uh, huh. You know what I sh should do is, uh, since we only have one attack, I will switch up my macro to uh, Clayman first and then Rabbit Dementia. Alright. Alright. Uh, yeah, th I think that's working a little bit better. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's... That's much quicker. Alright. Let us... Uh, let us go through this realm. I <coughs> Excuse me. I will say one thing about the poor gas fusion. Is that... It's... Making all of the enemies look really nice because of the uh, that you know pink and like baby blue uh, you know the color scheme that the Purgast has. Yeah, I'm a I'm a big fan of this. It works better on some enemies than others. Like it doesn't go that well with dark colors that much at least to me it doesn't okay another ne nether stone you know but I mean like it's all ultimately subjective right what colors you prefer you know with a lot of these enemies it looks really nice and oh and because they're all fused with a single creature they all kind of have the same color as opposed to usually with uh, enemy fusions there's, uh, they're fused with different members of the same race, like, you know, with the, uh, I don't know, whites, for example. They all have different colors, or, like, rift dancers have their own colors and so on. But here, they're all fused with the same creature. So it's a nice, uh, it, it, it just looks nice. Who are you? You are the Diabolic Horde Master. The Diabolic Horde are perhaps the most cooperative of any creature in all of Rhodia. They encourage and empower one another with only one goal in mind. Victory at all costs. Frankly, I don't think you stand a chance. I mean, listen, dude, I've beaten you seven times, so maybe shut the fuck up, alright? Maybe, maybe, shut the fuck up. I will need to buff a little bit though, so, uh... Give me... Uh, they're losing... They're blighted, they're losing health that way. I could just... I could just kill them with blight, but, um... That would involve, like, you know, time walk, and I'm, I'm, I'm too lazy. 
god, really, really, dude, you gotta make me do this one more time. There we go. There we go. Eighth victory against that dude. Get an achievement for that. And, uh... Let's, uh, keep going. This realm will be your tomb. That, you know, at least... At least these guys are straight and to the point, you know? I... If I... I think I killed all the other guys, but the, the ones that have lo the longer bit of text. Let, let's read... Let's read this text. So it's a blood stain on the ground. This blood stain reveals a vivid glimpse of a great battle once fought. Alright, that's an interesting bit of lore. A great battle once fought. So it's kind of like... We're not actually killing these, it's just a like a replay of something that already happened? Question mark? Alright, let's uh... Get these guys dealt with, and I think we are gonna do some candle summons, because uh, we are very interested in wrapping up this arachnalisk set. Alright. Alright. Let's go down here, nothing. There, are we done at the bottom? I think we are. Okay, good. Let's go up. That's completed the realm quest. Alright. That's nice. Greetings, traveler. It's good to see a friendly face around these parts. I've found some interesting treasure nearby that I don't have any use for. Here, you can have it. Thank you. And we're pretty much done with this realm. I'll just do a bit of a circuit and then we'll, we'll just uh, head back home, or maybe straight to the next realm, depending on whether there's anything at all to do at home. Ooh, here's a riddle dwarf. There's another uh, nether stone. We're finding lots of these. We have to answer riddle dwarf questions we don't so i'll just living necklace oh god that sounds like sorcery uh, wh whatever yeah those living glance living boots whatever those spells are all in different classes i do believe So you either have all of them memorized, or you just look up the answer, or you just take a stab and you get the answer wrong. Doesn't doesn't really affect me that much. All right. Where's the uh, where's the exit? The exit is. Right next to uh, Mr. Gone Furian himself. Before we go to the exit, I'll 
pop down here, see if uh, there's maybe any more enemies to fight. And I think that was the only one there, and th there are four left. <sighs> and we'll, uh, we'll just uh, take these guys out, and then uh, we'll just head home. Or uh, head to the next realm. I think one more realm, and I'm gonna have to do some uh, re-rolling at the uh, Goblet of Trials. Sorry, just I was just moving my phone because I think I might soon be getting a. Uh, like like some emails I think are about to start coming in and I don't want the vibration to be caught on the uh, on, on the mic let's go to a new realm I think yeah new realm Three fifty-seven seems fine. Inhabited by Nephilim seems okay. Let's just uh, let's just go. We're in the swamplands. Well, I wonder if Maraxis ever finds it weird that we're. Uh, that he's in our party and then he's talking to himself. But you know what? Oh no, I've these these are the Nephilim. Okay. They're Nep These guys are Nephilim and they're fused with Nephilim. What the fuck is going on, man? Hang on. Why are we not able to get... Pre oh, prevented by Nemesis. Alright, so we cannot gain buffs or stats. You know what, let me just wormhole. Let me targeted attack. God, such a... This is, this is actually not going to be a fun realm. Fuck off, man. Okay, let's do another wormhole. Let's do another tar. Are you? S what the fuck, man? Uh, at least he died. At least he fucking died. That was. That was dumb. Getting all his health up. Fuck that guy, man. Okay, this. Uh, uh, so they they're inhabited by Nephilim and they're fused by Nephilim. That's so. I don't know if I've ever. Maybe it must have happened at least once. It must have happened at least once in all the time I've been playing That enemies were just fused with the same type of creature that they themselves were Fall of resources, whatever. It's fine Do I even want to I don't think I want to summon enemies. I'll summon like two and, and then that's it. Because the problem with this situation is... Oh my god. Is that because they themselves are Nephilim, that gives them six chances to have a shield bearer in their party. And then they're fused with Nephilim, which gives them another six chances to have a shield bearer. Which means it's almost impossible for us to encounter cre creatures 
in this realm that either don't directly have a shield bearer in their party or who aren't at least fused with a shield bearer. These guys weren't fused, so I mean they weren't fused with a shield bearer, so we dodged that. Man, yeah, this is a. What a freaking joke. Fuck these guys, man. Yeah, maybe shouldn't have done any candle summoning. It's not that bad, it's just, uh, it's just a little slow. It's just a little slow. We have some interesting enemy fusions. We started out with them being fused with the Purgast, which is a rare creature. <sighs> Fuck off, man. And now we have enemies fused with themselves, basically. God. Fucking... Oh, and there's a... They have a white in their party who's probably gonna resurrect yeah this piece of garbage piece of actual garbage trash come on man that set him on fire set him on fire and then again we have no additional attacks Jesus this is a Kind of a bullshit realm, not gonna lie. Kind of a bullshit realm. Let's do a bit of this. A bit of this. You know what? Let's do one more. And let's try and do a, like a one and done situation. There we go. What? Is somebody going to try and resurrect? Fuck off! Yeah, that white resurrected his friends. That's okay. That's okay. Alright, these guys are down. These Imlers. The, what the fuck is even? Yes, some of these. Like, sometimes if you look at enemy health bars, they do some really strange things. And they'll go up and down, and you have no idea what's going on. Like, is it? Are they healing? Is is it? Is the max health changing? It's a. Uh, all a bit of a clusterfuck. Ooh, hey. The Nephilim Shield Bearer is fused with the Nephilim Shield Bearer. This trait does not stack, so fuck you. Jesus, man. At least they died. Good god. Have we... Do we have the card for the Nephilim Shield Bearer? Like, have we just gotten really lucky and have we randomly... No, we... No. We only have... So at some point, we're gonna have to farm the Nephilim Shield Bearer. That's gonna be... That's gonna be so dumb, man. It's gonna be so dumb. What are you? The Aspect Master. Aspects are one with nature. They exhibit a level of focus, unmatched by any other creature in Rodia, allowing them to dodge even the most powerful of attacks. Your creatures... Again, dude! I've beaten you six times, so don't... Like, why are you... Where does this confidence come from? 
I've beaten you six times. Don't tell me my creatures don't have a chance. Fuck you, man. Um, you know what? You know what? Do a bit of this. Do a bit of this action. Oh god. Shield. Fucking shield bears. Just be removed from the game. Just. I just. Or. It should be changed so that zero damage hits don't count as instances of damage. Because that's just fucking annoying. You know what? Do, uh, do, do a bit of this. Okay. Are we gonna kill them? At least there, there we go. There we go. Seven enemies. I'm not summoning anyone else in this in this map because it's 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 kind of a dumb dumb map. Come on, just, just finish this guy off. There we go. Oh. Good God, man. Just go away, dude. There we go. Yeah, maybe I... Maybe I shouldn't have summoned anybody. Maybe I shouldn't have summoned anybody. This is a, a little bit slow. It's okay, there are only three enemies left. Okay, fine. Take your stupid turns. Take your miserable little turns and just go. Just go. Alright. Two enemies left. Another ne nemesis creature. This is gonna be. You cannot gain buffs or stats. Okay. So just do this then. There we go. There we go. Ooh, yeah, the goblet is full. <coughs> I don't think you can account for... Um, nemesis creatures in your macros. So, for instance, my Clayman macro gets completely broken if we're fighting enemies that are stopping us from gaining stats. I can account for enemy traits, so I can say if, en if any enemy has trait starless, then, you know, do something else. But I don't think... Ooh. What about... Oh, no, 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 no. Um... I need to go here, I need to go to edit macro. Is there, like... Yeah, I don't think... N like, nemesis properties are on this list. Because we can have traits. What was the... Uh, was, 
It's called Misery. Oh god, that's... God, this is good. It's not even gonna... I don't think... Uh, I'm, I'm, maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, let's, let's check. You know what? An easier way to check is like is agile on this list. Uh, agile is not because agility aura is, but agile the nemesis trait is not on this list. Ergo, most likely misery the nemesis trait is also not going to be on this list. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna scroll all the way to M. You know the the middle of the alphabet just to check that one thing. Yeah, so the macros are good. There there are there are a few things in this game that kind of fall through the cracks a little bit. And then you've gotta just deal with them by manually taking actions. Well, there could be a chest up there. Zero enemies, not gonna be summoning anything else. No chest, that's okay. Let's, uh... Head on home. We do have to go home this time, because uh, there's a, a, a thing to hand in. A couple things, actually. Um, start by... Uh, setting another project. Slowly accumulating keys again. And let's uh, collect our reward. Alright. 25,000 piety is nice. And I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to roll this off screen, right? So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, that didn't take long. It just happened on my third roll, I do believe. So I didn't really need to, you know, pause the recording. But, like, you never know how long it's going to take, right? So that's why, that's why, you know, you just... Uh, you just gotta assume the worst. Assume it's gonna take like 50 rerolls and you'll be there for 20 minutes. Just to... Not, not 20 minutes, more like... At approximately 10 seconds per roll... It would take... Uh, Um, 50, that's... Uh, 500 seconds is less than 10 minutes. Soul flares we gotta kill. Yeah, might as well get some arachnalisks. On the field, one thing I'll check is uh, yeah, we don't we don't need the, the uh, extra clay man, so I'll uh, ooh easy easy. Uh, just do the regular rabbit dementia macro. Although it wouldn't be that bad if we just left it as a, you know, we cast Clayman first, because it doesn't take up that much time. But I, you know, I do like being a little bit efficient where I can. Like, you save your time where you can in this game. We donated. I just. Gotta check. Uh, 
I gotta check. Hang on. I think this Roostalker White is gonna get. Yeah. It's gonna come back, and then he's gonna die again. That's okay. Have I donated? Pretty sure. Yeah. Pretty sure. Guys, there we go. There we go. Go down and around. And there we go. And uh, now let's go up here. Very good. Who are you? Oh, this is Yoon. Well met. Hope this day finds you well. You look like you need help. Hello. You look like you need a bit of help on your journey. Take these items, and I'm sure you'll find them useful. Well, thanks. Thank you. I do appreciate the assistance. Alright, let's take out these uh, enemies. Alright, I'm getting closer to rank 55. All the work. Still pretty far away. So actually, maybe not. Maybe. Yeah, depending on how many objects there are for us to interact with. There might be a chance of hitting the next favor rank. Got another uh, um, buried treasure situation. Come on. Yeah, I think we we definitely are gonna head the next favor rank because we're gonna get favor for completing the realm as well. We're gonna get to the next uh, favor rank before we even complete the realm. Which is very nice. Ooh, there's a treasure golem. Increased view distance. Okay. There we go. Perdition is angry. Your actions are repulsive. Get out of my sight before I cut you. Listen, man. Dude, I've beaten you at the gate of the gods. Dude, what is... What is with all of these people, like, 
who I've already beaten, like, trash-talking me. Like, come on, guys, come on. Let's be, let's be serious, right? Let's, uh... Let's talk it out like adults. No need to be... No need to be, you know... So petulant about it. cards so far in this episode, which makes me a little bit sad. But you know what? It's okay. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it just doesn't happen. Ah, I got excited, but no, this is just another stone. It's just another stone. The Sin Master. Much like their Sanctus counterparts, Sins bring something different. Sins all bring something different to the battlefield. Frankly, I'm not particularly. Fond. Oh, okay. I think we talked to this guy before. I think we've already talked to this guy. He just. The only reason he's in it is because he wants to be called the master of sins. I was so confident that I was like, I don't even need a buff. <laughs> to, to take these guys down. Come on. What? Yeah, sometimes the enemy AI seems to like really glitch out when it's in uh, these long corridors. Because usually enemies are supposed to be seeking you out. But maybe something in its pathfinding is causing it to try and go the long way instead? Because it should still be trying to seek out the player. But maybe it's just getting confused and <laughs> trying to go the wrong way instead. At least that's one possible thing that I can think of for why it might be glitching out like that. Take that, take that, take this. Nothing. No cards. Very sad. Are we done with the realm? Well, we basically are. We basically are. Nothing there. Alright. Alright, very, very cool. Very nice. Oh yeah, we've got to collect the buried treasure. Which is probably not going to have anything, but you know what? Let's uh, do it anyway. And since this is right here, I'll... Summon some of these, but I'll only kill the ones that are directly on the way back. I guess I'll hit you as well. And since I've seen them, I'll clear out that entire room to the right. And then I'll start going towards the exit. give myself a decent chance of finding this card. Has not materialized so far. But you know what? We'll keep trying until we get it. Right, where's the... Uh, Exit. There's the exit. And we'll just hit a few more of these dudes. Oh, 
How are we for uh, time? We've been going 45 minutes. We can definitely do one more episode. Uh, sorry, not episode. We can do one more realm. And that's gonna be a boss fight. fight is gonna be uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun because we'll go back to the arachnid nest for that nothing eh nothing eh I'll kill a couple more Then A. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um I'm trying to go to bounties. I'm trying to see where is the uh, realm death 1297. Alright. I don't think we're gonna be fighting another false god in this realm. Sorry, in this episode, we definitely will be fighting Kichi. And, uh, yeah, seems, uh, seems good. Let's, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, see how this goes. Alright. Make a donation. Oh no. Okay. The reason I said oh no in such a despondent manner is because uh It's because this is an extra traits realm. <sighs> okay, whatever. We'll uh, we'll manage. We'll deal with it. I'm not gonna bother doing the blank slate thing. I'm just gonna try and rush through this as quickly as I can. I'm not gonna be summoning any enemies. Yeah, let's let's try and get through this quickly, and then if we're not summoning, then maybe we can uh, do some. Do like one more round, you know. Push the boundaries a little bit. Ooh, is that a? I do believe that's a treasure golem. There's you can't corner a treasure golem in a you know like in 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 this kind of a shape because it'll always just keep going around. Nor can you corner it like this, but you can corner him in a straight up dead end. One punch, and he is dead. Nothing, eh? No cards. No cards, eh? 
Huh. Well, that's... That's sad. So, you know what? If I don't... What the fuck is going on, Matt? Uh, extra traits. No doubt. It's... Man, fuck these guys. Oh, oh. I was gonna say, if I don't find a card in this realm, then I'll do one more realm. Let's just go ahead and get the uh, the boss out of the way. And lunges forward. This boss is a. Uh... Let me just do black slate. This boss does basically bleed damage, and that's his whole shtick, his whole gimmick. Well, let's do Clayman action. Nice Archangel. Do a bit of uh, this action. Gotta be a little bit careful. Bleed damage can get a little bit difficult to deal with if you don't have the right damage reduction but we dealt with it nicely and we get a garbage nether stone from the boss itself we get a couple other chests but nothing in either of them okay and we get nothing from the uh I hate extra traits so much. Oh yeah, there's the master as well. The Arachnalist master. This is going to be a victory number 42. Uh, let's just do quickly blank slate. Are you serious, man? Are you serious? Okay, well. Fuck off, dude. I don't mind poison. There we go. Let's do another one of these. And let's just try and win. Okay. There we go. Rachnalus Mastery is now 42. Oh! Salamander! What the f Fucking resisted silence. Fuck off, man. Fuck off, dude. And with a bunch of fucking extra traits. Jesus. Fuck off, man. They've shuffled the fucking timeline as well. Fuck these guys. Oh, are you serious? Just die. Just fucking die. Oh, you're actually a mimic. But you're dead. Yeah, I'm not summoning anybody in this realm. It's just too... F <sighs> it's fuck off. These guys... Sh they've shuffled the timeline again? Really, dude? Pieces of garbage. Actual garbage. Okay, another another stone. All right, we'll. Uh... We'll. You know, happily take that. All right, 
And then these guys. There we go. Okay, let's let's be quick because there's only three more enemies left. And we're done with the realm, and we're not summoning, so we can jump on to the next realm. Although we're getting close to the one-hour mark. But I think at this point we're resigned to the fact that there's going to be one more realm. Because the game just wasn't feeling generous enough to give us to give us even one card. All right, what do we have left? There's a couple enemies that we should. Try and take down because there's a good chance that they're going to be elite enemies. Final enemy is right here. Another agile enemy. Another one that's just going to be dead. The realm, pro the instant kill realm property, coming in handy. There we go. Yeah, last bit of combat. And nothing, okay. So we'll do one final realm. Ooh, hang on a second. Nothing in the buried treasure, of course. So we'll do one final realm. B54, acceptable. Let's go to a random realm. And yeah, to see how it goes. Okay, at least they don't have extra traits. They're fused with Apis. Which is probably gonna make them pretty tanky. I think that's the master, the Plague Doctor master. Plague Doctors are not only the coolest looking creatures in Rodia, they're some of the most powerful as well. I'm a firm believer that actions speak loud louder than words, so let me show you their power firsthand. See that guy, I like his attitude. Like he's he's confident, but he's not he's not delusional. So kudos to you. Plague, Doctor, Master, um, Drained Trait, after an enemy loses stats, yeah, whatever, um, I'm not too worried about these guys, alright, let's, uh, you know what, let's do a Graded Dispel, there we go, Get a, some more Clayman action. Now let's try and hit them. I don't think they're they're done. They're dead. They're gone. Gives us some more Plague Doctor mastery. That's nice. Hello, wetted bones. Is that interesting? Let's take a look at that. 394. Starts battles with more attack and defense, but loses. That doesn't sound nice. I don't... I mean, I guess... 
like most battles you'd finish pretty quickly, so it wouldn't matter. But in a long boss fight, that, that would not be good. Unless you could build up a kind of synergy where other creatures benefit if some of your own creatures lose stats. Maybe? It would have to be a very complicated build. Like we're finding all kinds of nether stones, but no, uh, no cards. It's just a... Uh, It's just not our day, it seems. What the fuck off, dude? Why are they resurrecting? Why are they resurrecting? Fuck off, man. Memento... Memento. What the hell is that? E every time I come across a new trait that's really annoying. Memento Mori is from an enclave. Memento Vivere. So, Memento Mori, I think that means remember death. Or, like, remember that you'll die. Something like that. This is probably the opposite. After an enemy gains... Man, what... What a st stupid... Fucking trade. Fuck that. That's that's dumb. That's dumb. You're dumb. Like what a what a convoluted way to resurrect your own people after like the enemy gains a buff. These guys were weirdly tanky. Alright, we've got to find these robot parts as well. Got to find these ro robot parts and gotta do some farming. It's like a decent realm to farm in. This entire episode makes me kind of sad. Alright. Let's, uh, let's keep going. All right. Let's go this way. And... Take these guys out. Those guys were making some weird sounds. Like, at least I assume those were like actual sound effects and not the sounds glitching out. But like weird, like little screeches. Hey, 
Hey. Is that the realm quest done? That is the realm quest done. Okay. Well. That's the realm quest done. That's not us done with the realm just yet. Remember, we, we were doing this extra realm just to give ourselves a chance at finding a card which still has not turned up. So, what do we even do? What I'll do is, uh, I'll kill, I'll, I'll explore the entire realm, then I'll summon one group of 20, and then I'll kill them. And then if we don't find the card, then that's fine. Then we'll just call it good. But regardless, we tried our best. We gave it our best shot, and yeah, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Easy does it. There we go. This is a very spread out realm as well. Which is why I'm not relishing the prospect of uh, taking out another group of enemies. But you know what? I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it off screen, obviously, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll do it. Let me kill the, these guys first, though. Because there is... <coughs> Excuse me, there is the chance that one of them might drop the uh, the card that we're searching so desperately for. There always is that chance. Come on. There we go. So we didn't get the card. What I'm going to do now, as I mentioned, I'm going to go to the candle. I'm going to summon one more group of 20. I'm going to go around, I'm going to kill them, and I will let you know how that went. Alright, I will see you shortly. And would you look at that, Razor, Razor Web Arachnalus card obtained. And I'm right in the same area that I was when I summoned these creatures, because it was, I think, the third, the, the third enemy that gave me the card. I'm not going to run around, I'm not going to kill the rest of these guys, because they are now redundant. I'm just going to take a look, make sure there's nothing else to do in this round, it doesn't look like there is, so we're just gonna head home with the one card obtained. With the one card obtained. That is our one card for the episode. And now what we do is we uh, complete a forge mission. But we, st we still have to do it that experiment mission that we could have done um, like right at the start of the Rune of Prophecies but I slightly botched it um, how are we but the experiment is gonna be done in one more realm so we'll, we'll be fine we'll be fine assuming we find this yellow vial which which we should so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start another uh, forage mission and I think that's gonna be our final forage mission. And what else? Uh, I think we're good. I think we are good to end this episode. So. Yeah, I, th I think we're good to end the, the episode. So, what 
did we accomplish this episode well. We awakened another relic. We fought another nether boss. We found a bunch of nether stones. We recycled a bunch of nether stones at the refinery, which is what helped us get, you know, the resources we needed to get the other relic. And we found a grand total of one card in that final round that we did. We are almost done with the Arachnalisk card set. Um, one more card will do it, and then we'll move on to the Arbiter set. And that'll be that'll be nice. The Banshee, we only have one card from this set. But, you know what? We'll, uh, we'll work on these one set at a time. But anyway, it was a... Uh, it was, a, it was a nice, a chill episode. You know, nothing too annoying, apart from that one realm where everybody was fused with the Nephilim creatures. Even that wasn't that bad. You know, it was a... It was a fun episode with not a lot to complain about. And uh, on that relatively chill note, I think it's time for me to say thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good time. And I hope uh, I'll see you in the next episode as well. And until then, take care.